everyone. In this series, we're looking at how to add inputs into a vMix production. Now, an input is any element that you want to include in your vMix production, for example, cameras, video, images, and audio. In this video, we're looking at the photos input. vMix allows you to input folders of images into your production through the photos section. Now, you may be asking, what's the difference between the image and the photos input? Well, many moons ago, the photos input was added in response to users wanting to bring in multiple photos from a single folder so they could create a photo slideshow, montage, or be able to access an image quickly. So the photos input now allows you to add your images to a folder and then bring them in as an input. vMix supports PNG, JPEG, TIFF, and BMP formats for the inputs in the photos section. Okay, so to add a photo slideshow into vMix, just go down to the add input menu in the bottom left, then select photos from the left menu. So as you can see at the top here, it says select an entire folder of photos to display as a slideshow. So you can browse for that folder and then select it. And then select the folder. Once you've done that, click OK. Now you can see that we've got our folder of images in our vMix production. Now you can use your photo input just like any other input. So you can click the cog icon to make any changes that you need to to the input. So change the name, aspect ratio, category, mouse click action, all that kind of thing. Now down underneath here, we have the input behaviors. You're able to use these automatically play, automatically restart, and automatically pause with your slideshow, just like you would with a video or a PowerPoint presentation. So depending on what you wanna use in your production, you may wanna select these. There are some menu items on the left-hand side, but these are covered in other tutorials. So to save these, just click the X. Now our slideshow is ready to go, we can use the controls manually and go through the image by clicking the next and previous buttons, like so. So this will go through all of the photos we have in that folder. And we can use the slider as well to go to a particular image that you wanted to. And we can restart by clicking the restart button. It'll go back to the first photo or image. If you wanna create a time slideshow for your images, just right click the input and select slideshow settings. This is where you can adjust how long each slide is displayed for, and that's the transition setting, the effect that is going to happen between each uh, photo or image, and then the duration of that effect between the uh, images. You can also adjust the order of the photos just by simply dragging them around. You can also use this setting section to jump to a particular photo or image. So some people like to use this to include an entire folder and then they open up this input and then they can just quickly jump to each photo that they have in the folder. Okay, so for an example, if I want to uh, set up my slideshow, I can select a transition. So I'm gonna say I want them to go to three seconds. You can use a drop down menu or you can enter your own number here. So we'll make this three. And then for the effect, I wanna make it a, a wipe. And then I want that to take 100 milliseconds. So I can type that in and then click X. Okay, so if I wanna play that, I'll just bring this across into my output and then I'll restart it and then I'll hit play. So they should, slide should last three seconds and then it should move to the next one. Okay, so another thing to remember is by default, the photo slideshow will be on a loop. So if you want to not have it on a loop, just untick that. Now also remember that your slideshow can be controlled wherever you see the input. So no matter where it is, um, we can bring it up and use slideshow settings anywhere. Another feature is if you add new photos to the folder, you can right click and then click refresh photos. And that will refresh any photos you have in that folder. So if you add another five, you'll, you'll see 10 here. You can also right click the input and open the source folder of the images. So it will open up that and then you can add more if you wanted to or make changes. So that's the photos input in vMix. It's great for adding slideshows or adding entire folders of photos or images to your production. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.